Hello, Internet and YouTube. It's me, Bandit. It's been uh, quite a while since I've uploaded, but that's because I was going back to finish my next degree at college, which is uh, officially done now. So I figured it was time to upgrade my piece of crap PC so I could finally start to focus more on content creation and streaming and the things that I love doing. But uh, the problem with that is I haven't built a PC in nearly two decades. Last time I built one, it was on the Windows XP platform and Duo Core was kind of the standard. Things are, needless to say, a bit different now, but at the same time, there's a lot of similarities and not too, too much has changed. So I, it was mostly painless. I did have a couple of small things that I had to figure out, but my stream chat helped me and so did my roommate. I actually streamed the entire build live on Twitch. So if you don't know that, I have the links for my Twitch channel down in the description, but I still stream regularly, but I would like to get more onto the YouTube content creation again, like I had hoped to do, but life kind of throws things at you fast. So anyways, I'll get to the build. It's a time lapse and I will at the end kind of go over some of the problems that I went over and had to deal with during this build and we'll address those. But for now, uh, here we go. Enjoy. So guys, that was the build. Uh, some of the more observant viewers out there probably noticed a few things were missing from that stream, uh, namely that I didn't put the graphics card in, I didn't finish the last little bits of cable management, and I didn't put the three exhaust fans on the top during that stream. That's because of a couple of reasons, uh, namely that my computer started dropping an ungodly amount of frames and couldn't handle it, 
hence why I needed to upgrade it. And I didn't even capture the last part, the most important and ar arguably the most satisfying part of the build, which is taking the plastic off of the tempered glass side panel, which I'm kind of sad about that I forgot to do. And also, since I was waiting a couple of days on my fans and a fan header splitter because there wasn't enough fan headers on my motherboard to support all of the fans, I kind of forgot to record some of those parts a couple of days later, so apologies for that. But it, it is what it is. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how this PC turned out. It's light years ahead of my old build. And some of the hangups that you might have noticed or not were some of the big problems involved the IO panel, which I've only been used to having a single IO or front panel plug before. And this one were all, they were all separate smaller pieces, which is fine. And I understood where to plug them. The problem was the fact that there, there's only an arrow labeling the, which side is the ground and which side is the actual plug and the both manuals for the case and the motherboard didn't say which one it was so I had to go searching around the internet to figure that out but it was okay it just took me a, a, a little bit longer and also if you noticed I was messing with a the thermal paste for a while that's because I decided to go with a spread like a, a spreading pattern where I just kind of spread it out and try to make it even and so it's not like I was putting a crap ton on there. I was just trying to make it as even as possible before I put down the, the cooler, just to be sure. Um, also, this is the first time I've ever put an AMD processor into a socket before, and I was kind of nervous because of the pins, but if anything, it's a lot easier than an Intel one. And not only that, but the performance, uh, I feel like, I don't know if I'll be able to go back to Intel after this. I, I, I just so I, I just really want to thank all my friends and uh, my viewers on the stream who helped me with this build, helped recommend parts, helped talk me and push me into finally switching to AMD. And everything good that has come out of this so far has just been worth every penny and every moment that I've spent on this build. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and it runs everything I want way better than I ever could dream of and I'm barely pushing 50% usage on my CPU so I'm uh, pretty happy with the results needless to say. So thanks everybody for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please comment on anything else that I might have missed that you would like to point out in the comments below and like I said before I will add in my Twitch link and my other social media in the doobly-doo so if you would like to check those out please, I would appreciate it very much. I stream regularly, at least four to five days a week. But as for YouTube, now that I have a video editing machine that will actually do video editing and rendering at a decent pace, I probably will do a little bit more YouTube from now on. And I know I've said that before, but, uh, well, let's just hope that I'm not lying this time. Anyways, thanks for everything. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bandit out. Oh, <laughs>